Hi, this is Deborah from Dinglefoot.com, and today I'm going to show you a really easy watercolor technique. I'm going to be using Ranger inks for that. I have fired brick and brushed corduroy. So I need a little container of water also and a, just a plain paint brush. You can see mine here. You can use any one that you have, probably a little bit wider like this. This is probably about half an inch. That's probably best. I'm going to be using watercolor paper. You can do this on regular cardstock. I did it on this one and it looks fine too. I just like the texture of the watercolor paper. So I'll be using watercolor paper for mine. I have uh, Tim Holtz paper distressor for the edges and my little tree stamp. And I also have a happy birthday stamp and I'm going to emboss that in gold. And, oh, I can't forget my watercolor pencil in green. I'm going to use that for the bottom of my little stamp so it looks like some grass growing there. And I have a border punch. So I'll be using that on my decorative paper right here. So let's go ahead and get started. Using my little tree stamp here, I'm going to ink it with the brushed corduroy. And I'm just going to stamp three of these on my paper. And I'm going to separate them a little bit just so it's easier to cut out. Okay, there's one. I'll do one here. And one more right here. Okay, next I take my little watercolor pencil here. And this is just not a science at all. Just make little strokes like grass, if you can see that. Just make little strokes on the bottom of your paper. Just going to go the whole way along. And I'm not any expert kind of draw drawing artist, so just going to make little lines, just like we're in kindergarten. No big deal. You don't have to be perfect at all, because next I'm going to take my paintbrush here. It's really nice and wet. All I'm going to do is just pull down on my little stems of grass do that the whole way along with the watercolor pencil it'll blend them just like it's paint okay and then I'm just going to simply go straight across and I'm going to go over my trees too because that distress ink will also react with water and it will move the ink around on your paper Okay, let me go a little bit above the edge there. Rinse my brush off a little bit. Now, I'm going to go right into my fire brick ink pad with my paint brush. Just swipe it across. Just get a little bit of ink on it. You can see there's a little bit on there. And I'm just going to rub around in a circle on my tree where the leaves are. Okay, maybe a little more. If it gets too dark, you can see this one in the middle is really dark. It's really easy to fix. Just kind of rinse off your brush a little bit with plain water. Just go straight across again. So if you don't like any of this, it's really easy to change. Just add a little bit of water to it. Okay, you can see I have all my little trees done like that. And all I'm going to do is either wait for them to dry or else I can just use my heat tool and dry them that way. After they're dried, just take your paper cutter and cut right around them so you have squares that are even. Okay, here's my little tree cut out. Next I take my edge distressor, just run it around and rip up the edges a little bit. Okay, you're going to do this to all three. And next, I just take my brushed corduroy ink and just pounce the edges in here just so they have a nice brown outline around them. This paper is a little bit easier to work with too because it is a little bit stronger than cardstock. 
do this edge. Okay, and then we have our little trees all ready to be put in, on our card. You can see I did all the edges. Okay, so next I grab my little decorative strip of paper I have for my card and I'm just going to punch one edge with my edge punch here. And you don't have to do this, it just adds a little extra to the card. Alright, I have my border punched. This is going to go on the card first. So I just put a little bit of glue along the bottom here. It'll go right there on my card. And then we'll simply just put this paper on top so that our little scalloped edge is showing. Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to trim that a little bit. I have an extra little bit on the edge there. Cool. Do that in a couple minutes. And next, my little trees will just go right along the front. And you can either glue them down flat or just use zots like I always do for my project. Okay, so the, all that's left to do now is take my happy birthday stamp. And I'm going to use the same ink I had before, the brushed corduroy, and just stamp it right on the bottom of the card right here. Pour some gold embossing powder on it. And get the excess off. I'll just dump it back here for now. Nice thing about this craft sheet, even if you get some of the powder heated up right on it, it's going to just brush right off when you're done embossing. So let's go ahead and use our heat tool and melt our embossing powder. Okay, we've got the happy birthday all embossed in gold. Nice thing about this card is it works for a man as well as a woman. So I hope you enjoy trying out the watercolor technique. Thanks so much for watching.